It's time for the big question now and this week we asked you whether social media helps us reconnect or disconnect. Lisa Fernandez joins us in the studio. Lisa, morning, you hit this Pete. morning. <laughs> you hit the streets once again. I did. Look, I want to say too that I really like your Instagram pictures. <laughs> They've distracted me from a lot of work. <laughs> oh, okay? good. I'm, I'm very much entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very much well, Look, we use social media for work a lot. OK? Yes. Uh, that's my excuse anyway. Yes. But I find uh, you walk into Channel 9 here in Perth and everyone's like this. On you know, the if phone. they're not on the phone, they're like... So social media plays a huge, huge part in our lives. But mm. I wanted to know, really, uh, do, do you think it connects or mm. reconnects people? And I talked to the streets. Here's what happened. Have a look. Do you reckon social media helps people connect or does it disconnect people? Connect. Connects people, I guess? I would say connecting people. It connects. I think it connects people. I can stalk my grandchildren. <laughs> yeah. What are you on now? Oh, I was on, like, I was just texting on Snapchat. I'm from the US, and so for me, it really connects with my family and my friends back home. Well, it keeps me in contact with my family back home in New Zealand. In the globalised world, because everyone's, like, all over the world, so you can talk to people, like, in other countries and things like that. I can be in touch with my family. I can see my family growing up, my little nephews and nieces. And for me, it's more about family. I don't really check about everything else but my family. All my schoolmates from over east, so I'm organising a couple of beers on Friday um, with guys that, like them that are coming over, so probably wouldn't have happened without social media. They probably would have drifted off. I don't like it. I think it disconnects. Definitely disconnected. Um, probably more of a disconnect. You can have two people sitting at a coffee shop. They're sitting opposite one another and they're both on their phones, not even communicating. A lot of the days where they used to get together and play at the park or kick the footy around. Me and my husband are home watching TV. We're probably on our phones on Facebook and Instagram, actually, rather than interacting with each other. People don't have the time now to even speak to one another face to face. I deleted my Facebook account. I'm about to delete WhatsApp as well because people don't talk. They sit right next to each other at the bus stop talking to a friend on Facebook or checking the news feed and then they don't even ask anything to the person next to them. But I've got a 13-year-old daughter who's the same. Like She straight away gets home from like, school, does her homework and then she's just on her phone constantly. So I'd like to, at night time I now make her leave her phone on the bench. I don't answer people. If they're on the phone, I ignore them. Because I think it's rude. Mm, I'm 50-50. Bit of both. I think it definitely can connect you, but I think it can also be very antisocial. I think it's sort of keeping up with your friends without actually having to speak to them, and it's a time killer. It probably does connect people, but I think it's, there's too much. You're speaking to a third person face to face, you want to make that eye contact, and I think that's not something that's been lost. I think we lose focus on personal interaction and it's more about stalking. Have you looked up your ex-boyfriends ex on Facebook? No, because I don't want to know if they're with someone better. I'd rather stay in my own security of thinking, yeah, no, I, I did, I made a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love her. She was great. And we talked about all the ex-boyfriends that we stalked on <laughs> Facebook. Look, I, I, that really surprised me because a lot of people did say it disconnected. Mm. I was a massive disconnect. Sorry, mm. but that's that's just my opinion, mm. Tivo. I, I, I've had conversations with people and yep. I'm looked down and you know what, you know it's a disconnect yep. when your five-year-old child tries to flush your, uh, your phone down the toilet because she reckons you're on it too. <laughs> Much. Sort of, There's a disconnect. I must say, I th I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of both because for me, I can connect with my relatives who live yeah. overseas. I've got many friends over east. I feel like I can, I can keep up to date with their, mm. their lives, which you know sometimes there is a FOMO, fear of missing out. So oh, look for at me, you. look at you with the FOMO. <laughs> Facebook really helps me connect, but I do yeah. get it. I, it does really yeah. annoy me when I see people at a coffee shop having brunch, whatever, and they're all on their phones. They're not even talking to each yeah. other. So I think that's a really big issue. Yeah, but I. Love love this one. So if you want to uh, join in, you can do what, uh, maybe hashtag the big question yes. and I can read some uh, yeah. tweets out or stuff like that. They can, everyone can go on uh, the, our Facebook page yep. actually, post uh, your opinion and we will read them out uh, at 8.30. We'll also sit down with two experts and Lisa will also be with us too. Thanks so much Lisa. No worries.